Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job is some food to eat. Hey, what it do, what it do. It's your big cuz that fool Kirk Kirk. And right now I need everybody's undivided attention. I need everybody to tune in and tap in like that tacky. If you fuck with me like you say you fuck with me, then fuck with me like you stuck with me. Y'all know me as that fool Kirk Kirk, but my government name is James Carruthers. James B-O-R-R-O-T-H-E-R-S. And I'm currently being held at the Forsyth County Jail in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. After being arrested by police and use police brutality unnecessary force to apprehend me. If you can help me in any way, please cash out my little sister using the number 336-862-6665. Uh, also, you can contact my mother. You know what I'm saying? Her name is Naomi. You can hit her up at 336-262-7883 for anything that you can help me. If you know my story, then she's on previously did 10 years in prison and been home too, staying out of the way, focusing on my music and my dreams of them, you know what I'm saying, doing my thug business and stuff up in my books. My dad just died from coronavirus and so did my uncle. I'm here to tell you they do not give a fuck about us in here, nor none of your loved ones. They do not have enough masks, sanitizer, or staff, or anything of that nature to properly treat or deal with the pandemic behind these walls. In the two days I've been here, I've witnessed two fallouts and one death already, not to mention the unheard cries from the help and the people seeking attention from the help from COVID-related symptoms. Last but not least, y'all already know, man, I got my first child on the way to the 30s, man. I'm just trying to be a boy. Y'all already know I put on for my niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's lined up, man. But that's gone. You know what I'm saying? Who else they gonna have to hold them down? But I need y'all to put on for me like I put on for my niggas that's locked up. I'm not asking y'all to jump on no counters. I'm not asking y'all to buy no t-shirts and sell no t-shirts, man. I'm asking y'all to come together, man, if y'all get this damn cash out. The five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars, whatever, man. If my sister cash up or get it to my mama, it'll help, man. All I need is, and even though my bond high as hell, it don't need that much. As long as I get this four percent and this five percent more down bonds, then I'll be out with like eight bands. I already got like three bands stacked up and already ready to go. So I need everybody help and everybody to come together. Please, please help me get the fuck out of here because they not playing, man. I got over 9,000 followers on Instagram. I know anybody and everybody ain't going to do it, but somebody can do it. And if you can't do nothing for me, repost this shit, make this shit go viral. You know what I'm saying? Put it in your stories and go ahead and start that free, that full crypto current campaign, man. And it's still Red Dread. And it's still free Red Dread, man. Uh, other than that, you already know, man. Others records. GMG. I love it. Help me get a box, mom. I cannot discuss his case with you. My son will never snitch on a person. His first 10 years is because he didn't snitch. The two people he was with, they snitched to get a better deal. You know, they said my son was the mastermind. Folks, everybody that you run with does not have your back. Everybody does not want to see you do well. You know, um, my brother, I am all over the place. I just have to get everything out. Even though it's not coming together, it's going here, it's going there. But these are some things my brother told me when I was on drugs. He said, Naomi, you are not a good mother. You were not cut out mother material. I was so friggin' mad at my brother that it took me years to realize what he said. I was not a good mother. I did not know how to be a good mother because not saying that my mother was not a good mother, but my mother did not have the tools. She did exactly what I am doing. I felt as long as I kept the roof over my kids, they had food, they had clothes. That was it. My husband was there to pull up the, the weight, you know? Um, I was so wrong, you know, uh, we tend, I have learned that we tend to raise our kids the way we were raised. You know, I can freely admit now that I was not a good mother when I was addicted to drugs, but I know I am a good mother now. Um, I know I have two sons that are talent. My youngest son, he can draw. Uh, you can find him on Instagram, Obi. Uh, my son, Dick, <laughs> that fool, Crip Curry. He can sing. He can rap. Um, he deserves a, a chance. Um, as I said, I believe that God set him still to 
think about your con your action has consequences. And I believe God is going to use this situation because my son is already saying that he's going to concentrate on getting his book published. Yes, I hope that this record deal can still go through because my hunt, my son worked for this. You know, I didn't understand it, but I supported him. And at the end of this video, um, I am going to post three songs. Please, no one get offended, especially with the one freedom of speech. Um, because there's a few things in there that I wish he had not said. But the song is called Freedom of Speech. So if any of you, this has not gone exactly the way I want it to go. Um, I knew what I wanted to say. Um, but it has evolved into this, this, and that. Or whatever. But I've, I've done the best that I can do. Um, I really... Some of you know me just from Facebook. Some of you know me personally. I think you all know that I am not a bad person. I try to treat everybody right. I made my, my mistakes. I grew from my mistakes. I'm a better person from my mistakes. Please help give my son another chance. Um, $60,000 is not going to be an easy task. But also, what I would like for you to do, if you would, my son wanted this to go viral. You know, um, please share. You may not believe everything. Um, you may have things that you believe in, and you may believe that if a person make a mistake they have to pay. You know, he needs to sit in jail. No, I don't want my son sitting in jail. I do want him to have to pay, but not his entire life because he's he served 10 years. He came out, he made mistakes. But the last year, I am proud of him, even though he has gotten arrested. I tell my son, you can't be around just anybody. You can get caught up in a mess. You know, like I said, I can't discuss the details of of the case. But please, if it's only a dollar, I'm going to also post the cash app. I had to have someone to set that up for me too because technology is not my thing. Um, please, I mean, a dollar is not a whole lot. If you can do more or whatever you can do. Because we all are struggling, most of us anyway. Please, if not for my son, just to help make it a little bit easier for me. Um, God is in this somewhere. I know it. I feel it. And um, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say other than... I'm praying. If you need to pray over this before you make a donation, I know some of you can't. You may not be there financially, but if only a dollar, it's the thought that counts. You know, it'd be a dollar more closer to $60,000. Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Ladies and gentlemen from Westside, Rolling 60 Crip I got Crip Curry, what up man? What it do, what it does I was scrolling through Instagram a couple of months ago And I see my boy Crip Curry got shot What the hell happened man? I ain't even gonna lie to you, make it sound fly to you, man. They caught me lacking at the light. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, 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 like the song and the deuce before you play it, man. They hating on motherfucker. That's all it is, cool. Mm, you know, nigga down. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, fresh home, doing a long bid, doing his thing on, on my job. You know what I'm saying? With a mission and a tunnel of vision. But, you know, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't shot a crib, but they ain't stop a crib. Yeah. They ain't, it ain't do nothing but make me go hard. You know what? I kind of noticed that. I kind of noticed that. Just, just you, you, you turned, you turned it up on your social media. You're releasing more content. I kind of noticed that. Um, that I guess something positive came out of it. But um, shit, how many times were you hit? Uh, 
twice. Uh, one one bullet uh, twice in the back. Uh, one bullet went in and out, and the other uh, grazed and even a deep laceration. Um, you know, I was just in the hood, regular day. You know, what I'm saying all is well. Uh, luckily, I seen them before they seen me. You know, what I'm saying it's like you seen it, but you didn't see it, but you yeah. seen it. So, uh, you know, seen the um, the window rolling down just in time. Mm. Lean that seat back, and you know, then got hit. Have you ever been shot before? Nah, that was actually the first time. First time, huh? Shit. Damn, you've been out just like a year, and, and yeah, man, uh, and it, it, it actually ain't that bad, man. Like I was on live when the whole thing happened. Still on oh, really? Face. No shit. Yeah, yeah, I was on live. Oh, that you part know, I didn't know. Damn. Yeah, took the bullet like a G. Uh, you know, clean it up, bandage it up, man. Next week I was in Cali, like it wasn't nothing. I ain't gonna find this bad. That hurt worse. Ooh, damn. Did you know you were hit right away, or was it one of those things like, damn, I, I might be hit, I don't know. I've always heard people yeah, get shot, first, and they don't know. Yeah, at first I was like, I might have got hit, but I wasn't sure. Um, you know, I heard the bullets really in the car or whatever, and I, I actually thought I heard a glass break, but it didn't. Mm. Um, and like I said, I didn't know. Uh, I used my phone to um, look at my back to see I was hit. I didn't know how bad it was. I tried to take my bandanas off, uh, tied around, but it wasn't tight enough, mm. um, you know. Had my people come scoop me real quick, ran to the crib, ran some bad water. But I like I said, I couldn't, uh, I guess because my adrenaline was pumping so much uh, uh, and whatnot, and my phone was going off like crazy. But uh, I, it, I really couldn't tell. And I, honestly, I didn't even feel it. Mm. It's an after the fact. Mm. Stacey- anything, the only thing, only thing it slowed me down, only thing it slowed down with me working out, that's it. <laughs> Got to get that regime in, man, I know. Yeah, it felt like my work, my workout routine a little bit, but yeah. uh, not that, I'd rather fuck up that than, you know what I'm saying, fucking up my life. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Well, shit, you brought up uh, King Vaughn. That's a situation that happened since you and I last uh, talked. King Vaughn, obviously, for everybody out there who, who doesn't know, Crip Curry, I know you know, but uh, King Vaughn was a rapper who was recently shot uh, outside of a hookah lounge. He was posted up in the car. He sees one of his enemies, you know, Quando Rondo. And a fight ensues, and probably within like two or three seconds of the fight ensuing, a dude named Lil Timmy um, ran up and, and just started shooting. Now, I would love to know your your thoughts on this, because I'm hearing both sides of it. You know, some are saying, you know, Lil Timmy wasn't right, but others are saying, you know, he, he you know, someone's rushing your home, and you see 20, 30 dudes, it's your job to let off. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on Lil Timmy? You know, I don't, I, don't wish, I don't wish death on no man, but as far as that situation, you know, uh, he did what he was supposed to do, and that's probably what he around for. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, any nigga rush my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I see it's going on. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what's reasonable in the situation. You know, uh, judging off of uh, what's going on at the moment. You know, um, but like I said, I don't wish death on nobody though. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucked up situation because King Von was one of the. My, I, I said it before he passed away. He he was. He was it. He had everything. Just like you're it, dog. You got the look. You got the flow. You know, you got the, the street credibility and things like that. And and King Von was, he was next on, man. I really, you know, do think that. Um, my yeah. question for you, you know, is Quando Rondo and, and Lil Timmy, they, uh, they're affiliated with Rolling Sixties from what I understand. Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel that that puts another target on your back when you're traveling state to state? Nah, not necessarily. Good. Not necessarily. I, I feel like it's, it's the same, you know what I'm saying, before that happened and the same after that happened. You know what I'm saying? Even though uh, they affiliated, it's possible, but I, I highly doubt it. Yeah, okay, good. I just hope nothing else comes out of this, man. We're losing too many, you know, yeah. people of color already as it is, man. And this year alone, like you mentioned, we Mo3, I mean, FBG Duck, King Von, I mean, Pop Smoke earlier this year. I mean, the list, you know, goes on and on, dude. They just keep growing and growing for no reason. Yeah. Like, I really wish, I, you know what I'm saying, these got all this smoke. Now, it, it's a little bit different, you know what I'm saying, when, uh, you know, a rapper got smoke with, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, people from the streets or, or with people in the streets, necessarily the rappers having smoke with other rappers. I just wish the other rappers, you know what I'm saying, got smoke with other rappers or box it out or something. You know there I mean? you go, dog. Just like that uh that boxing match and, the other night. Yeah. And they will make so much more money. Thank you. So much more money. And the cold part is, Crip Curry, you know this just as well as I do. A lot of dudes are bitches, and they just don't want to squabble up. I mean, it's not 1985 anymore. It's, it's 
2020 and these dudes i see i, I see rappers punching punching bags online and like doing boxing training and you could tell they never had a fight a day in their life yeah yeah so that's crazy man but um let me ask you I go ahead, go ahead. that was the case if that was the case that'd probably be my claim to fame what's that fight oh yeah hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what a real man does, dog. That's yeah. fuck all this pulling, it's pulling like out. Said, it's just bull. It's like I said, it's different when you got you know what I'm saying. Beef with people in the street besides these other rappers, though. The rappers on. I mean, uh, people in the street should do the same thing too. But you know, like I said, the situation a little bit more sticky in. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, man, niggas need to down. Uh, put the guns down. Put the fist up. You yeah. know, pop that win, lose, draw. You know, this you know day. I would pay, and I don't. I don't. Fuck with Quando Rondo. I couldn't name two Quando Rondo songs, but let's rewind five months ago when these dudes were beefing. I would pay, just like I paid for the Tyson fight the other night, I would pay $50 on pay-per-view to see King Von and Quando Rondo scrap in the, in, in, the, uh, in the ring. And like you said, they'll probably make way more money doing that than they do making music. You and everybody else would love to see it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Me, my mama, your mama, everybody mama. Mm-hmm. But then, like I said, these niggas bitches, man. These niggas talk, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they ain't trying to get out of crap, crap. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Well, shit, someone else from Chicago who I also was fucking with, he had a song called Slide a couple of years ago that I was really on heavy and he was the drill rapper he was the guy he was the one that everybody was looking at as the next big thing before king von passed but i'm talking about fbg duck obviously who was popped outside of a you know like a it would be comparable to a rodeo drive or a Saks fifth avenue or something like that it was a nice part of chicago and for lack of better words he just got caught lacking um, but I want your, your your opinion on something like on this because you are a hip hop head such as myself. You, you're obviously familiar with the whole dissing the dead ops thing, the smoking on such and such pack. I'm smoking on yeah. this person's pack, right? And apparently, yeah. I thought it was just a Chicago thing, but as I've talked to you know more people, uh, rappers and hip hop artists around the country, uh, apparently it's a it's the thing. It's a like this is what they do. This, this is what the kids are doing nowadays. Is this and the dead ops, whether they're from Atlanta, New Orleans, whatever the case is. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on on putting out songs dissing the dead ops? I mean, it sounds good, you know what I'm saying. But what's the point of dissing the dead ops? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it uh, uh, like shit. Like if you dissing the dead ops, yeah, that's the same as that's the same as motherfucker down. You know what I'm saying? Dissing the wall. Mm-hmm. You dissing the motherfucker that ain't gonna diss you back, can't hit you back, can't shoot you back. You know what I'm saying? Can't even shoot you in the front or shoot you in the back. He did. Like I said, it sounds good on the record and all that shit. You know, it's a nice little lingo, but I ain't, I ain't got time for it. Yeah, it it just puts out bad karma to me. And look, I'm I'm way outside the demo. I'm 43 to, I was 43 years old, so nobody cares about what my old ass thinks. But I just think it brings on bad karma. And something else that I that I never even knew about. I was talking to an OG who was about 50, maybe close to 50 years old. And he was telling me they were doing that shit back in the day, like in jail, like, you know what I'm saying, in prison and things like that. They, you know, beat on a table, boom, boom. And then they, they just start dissing the dead homies of, of such and such gang. I thought this was a new thing, but not. Nah, apparently it's been going on for a minute. I mean, it's just like, you know, claiming a body, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I said, uh, me personally, you may say you claim the body, but I ain't gonna say you know what body I claim or something like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, got gotcha, you. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got, got time for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't smoking on an op pack. I'm smoking on some good caliber right Hell now. Yeah, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> How was your trip out here? Man, fun as always. About to be heading back out there, uh, that way soon too, man. Got a lot of stuff in uh, December coming up in the ATL. I've been in, I've been in Atlanta like crazy lately, but uh, yeah, I, I come, I'm coming back to the land ASAP. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you spending a lot of time down there. I saw you recently were posted up with Boosie. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was actually that was actually last summer. My whole boy Red Dread. Oh, uh, he just got uh, got a feature done with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Reached out to him. Uh, got a track with him. Oh, uh, uh, you owe me. Well, that's out now. The video with him too. Um, yeah, man, just networking, networking. Brush your shoulders with these with these rappers, these uh, CEOs, and these handalls. And, and all that good stuff out there in Miami, living life, 
Um, like I said, heavy in Atlanta. It's real, the music's real big down there, so yeah. it's heavy out there. Um, coronavirus ain't stopping shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. What are your thoughts on this whole coronavirus thing? You know, now that we're what nine months in, what's Crip Curry's man, look, thoughts on this whole thing? Man, I look at it from a whole bunch of different angles. You know, I look at it from from, from like smoke and mirror type shit. You know, for them was trying to slow people down for coming out to vote, mm-hmm. or maybe you know what I'm saying. You know, how it just all originated. It's, you know, got got. I look at things from more than one angle and try to think outside the box. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh. Um, motherfuckers dying. That's some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's definitely stressful. Cause for example, my mama, she don't play that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, even things, even even dinner, kind of hard being social distance in the house. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. She's vulnerable, man. And shout out to your mom, by the way. Such a sweet lady. I've had a chance to talk with her as well, and she's such a dope woman, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, definitely. I don't... Go ahead. I said, I'm definitely there, old <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Um, let me ask you now, there's kind of a theory out there, and I would love your thoughts on this because I know you get deep. They're saying, you know, the first ones to get the vaccine are people in the vulnerable classes. I put that in quotes, vulnerable classes. Mm-hmm. Now, Here's the twist, and after I think about it a little bit, it makes me go, hmm, but I would love to know what you think. The vulnerable classes include mostly people of color, blacks, Latinos. We have diabetes. We have health. We're all fucked up when it comes to eating and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be the first. They are going to be the first ones to get this shot, you know, once it is distributed, the vulnerable classes, which is mostly people of color. Do you think there's some funny business behind that? That shit sound funny from the moment you start speaking about it. Mm-hmm. That shit, that shit sounded funny from the moment you started speaking about it. Yep. Uh, and especially with us, you know, uh, trying to make the, us be the first ones to get it. Yeah, that shit sound fishy like some damn spank pussy to me. <laughs> yeah, kind of uh, like the Tuskegee experiment back in the day. Yeah, uh, you know, even with, uh, I mean, like me personally, I don't even get flu shots or none of that. Either. I've never gotten one. And I i don't think I've ever gotten the flu. I don't, I know I would have got it, but I don't think I've ever gotten the flu, dog. Like when I was younger, you know, they used to make us get them in school. I got them in because I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think since like the age of uh, 14, I haven't had, you know what I'm saying, no, no flu shot or no shot. I, I ain't let nobody put nothing in me. It's so weird. My my scary thought is, and once again, you you look at things at a different angle, also. But my worry is that they're gonna force it on us, dog. You wanna you wanna go to you wanna go to college, or you wanna go to kindergarten. Your kid wants to go to kindergarten. He has to get it. You wanna uh, visit your wife in the hospital. And that's how they would set it up too. That's mm-hmm. how they would set it up too. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any means, dog. But when something's a little fishy, uh, you gotta think. Yeah, you gotta think. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I look at everything from more than one angle. It's like playing chess. You got to think five steps ahead. When you, when, you know what I'm saying? When they tell you this, you got to look at it from five different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, Chess, not checkers, you know, which is a book that I believe I mean, it's wrote. Just, it's, just, it's just like the Indians. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they gave them blankets with, with, with small uh, pops. small pops on them. Yes, sir. You know? Yeah. That, that, it wouldn't be the first time they did some trickery in Canada. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's just you and me. School is in session, baby, but I don't play. I know you wanted to go uh-huh. to recess, but I take, take that, that away. away. What? Understand I'm the what? man, even if you had a plan. If you make 200000 I'm keeping 100 grand. Wait a minute. Uh, because I'm pimping you, bitch. This is America, so why not get rich? When you're searching for your music, you're playing my station. I'm two steps beyond, maybe that's the fascination. Come on. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling Absolute, we put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. I'm a West Coast rapper from the city of the hub. Everywhere I go, I get that California love. Like I'm the plug, they trying to tap into my energy. When I hit the spot, you know I'm coming with that synergy, replenishing. Like 
Gatorade Got they levels up and now we two steps beyond these flames Kicking up dust, never running from the smoke Hold up. We really want the smoke only from Clone God though Let's go One plus one equals two I'm talking you and me, you talking me and you When we come together we be feeling absolute We put one in the air and be feeling so cool my inner sugar ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a Gemini, bitch, so you know what that means It means that sometime one plus one equals three I'm a wandering star with two grams up in my cigar And a heart with two scars so hard And if I snap, girl, I'm sorry Bitch, pass me the lighter I'm about to play Street Fighter Hot dude in that pussy Like my name, Kenna Ryu She says she never kissed a girl Well, bitch, tonight you experiment Put this tablet on your tongue And just enjoy the experience One plus one equals two I'm talking you and me You talking me and you When we come together We be feeling absolute We put one in the air And be feeling so cool Ooh, ooh A little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. I would love to kind of talk about your journey You know what I'm saying? Through the um, through the, the jail The juvie jail prison system I know we kind of touched on it last time a little bit But when when did you first uh, go to juvie? Uh, I went to juvie for the first time when I was ten years old. Damn, ten years old. What what for? Yeah, uh, I actually got into a fight with another guy because I stole his bike, and um, he pulled out a knife and uh, stabbed me in my side, and I picked him up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front it. I, I could I could fight a little bit, but I was really into like you know WCW watching wrestling. Oh, I was all on that shit, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. I picked his ass up, slammed him. And when I slammed him, <laughs> the way I ain't even do it, he did it himself. When he tried to down, uh, uh, like break his fall, mm -hmm. he broke his wrist and it popped out his skin. Ooh, shit. Yeah. Nigga, I think I was more scared than he was. I ain't even gonna care. I went to Julie for the first time for that. Mm. He was watching Undertaker and fucking yeah, Kevin rock. Nash. Yeah. <laughs> Doing that kind of stuff, so, and I, you know how it is growing up with brothers and cousins and stuff like that. You come on, we we practicing all the moves. Yeah. yeah, my brother, my little brother should be paralyzed right now. All the moves I was putting on him, I was suplexing his <laughs> ass, I was DDTing him, I was pile driving him, and I'm looking back like, man, I could have really fucked him up. For real, hey, <laughs> for real, we used to get it in. Mm -hmm. We used to do the same thing, me and my little brother. But yeah, man, so I uh, went to um, jail for the first time. Then after that. And then most times I went to jail after that, or went to juvie, but um, I always ran away from my group home, so it was like standard procedure to go to juvie after that. Mm. Uh, then boot camps, wilderness camps, then jail, 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 then prison uh, multiple times. What um, what was the main reason you would run away from the group homes? You know, didn't feel like you belong there. Mm. Get treated wrong. Uh, Already rebellious, so, so staff member trying to play parent and staff member at the same time and be your friend. I don't work like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now take me back to 12, New Jersey. The day you got, and I think you called on our last year, you called it socked up. It socked in. Socked in, okay, cool. And yeah. jumped in, socked in, put on. Um, yeah. yeah, I was actually uh, yeah, I was actually on the run then from a group home. Okay, and I I went back up top. Um, you know, I was up in the streets hustling. Uh, and home brought me in. And yeah, that was put in my work after a little bit when it was time to show face, and it's been a rap since. Mm. Yeah, and, and Matt and Av, right? Um, yeah. Okay, talk to us about Matt and Av. I mean, that's, that's, the, uh, that's, the, that's the neighborhood I'm pushing. That's the street I'm pushing. Mm -hmm. No, that's the set, the set of rolling city. Okay. I'm just trying to recap for, for anybody who didn't listen to the last interview, which I definitely suggest you do. It's a dope-ass interview, man, for anyone out there who hasn't checked it out. My first interview ever, actually. <laughs> you know what, man? That makes me that makes me feel good because I, I know you're going to do big things. And and one day when I when I see you accepting that, 
that Soul Train Music Award for best rap album, I'd be like, yep, I was his first interview. <laughs> for real. <it. laughs> I'm wearing my first interview. Yeah, man, that's dope, dude. Um, <clears throat> well, shit, let me ask you. So, Juvie, uh, Jail, Prison, and I think you mentioned Camp in there also, right? Or yeah, like Wilderness Camp. Okay. Where, which one of those was the worst and most scariest? Mm. I mean, all prison, mm-hmm. prison. You know, that numerous times it was life or death enough. Damn. But it's a lot of bullshit, a lot of politics. You know, sometimes every day is a surprise. Yeah, and for anyone who d- didn't watch the last, uh, listen to the last show, also. Uh, he was in the hole for a year, right, for stabbing somebody. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah, and I got caught with a shank. Mm. Yeah, so that was that was the best year of my life. That's what I was gonna ask because I feel like if I were in prison, that's where I would want to be. Just, but, but I, I once again, I've never been to prison. Hopefully, I never go. Uh, yeah. But I feel like I just want to be away from everybody. It ain't, it ain't where you want to go, but I ain't gonna lie. That's why I conquered and accomplished, and you know what I'm saying, victorious over so much. Yeah, he wrote 500 songs inside. Yeah, you know, wrote my book. Um, some of my greatest ideas came from. I wrote down, and some of them videos is what people seeing now. Yeah, Chestnut Checkers. I remember that one specifically. Yeah, that's one of my books. Like I'm working on self-publishing them now. That's dope. I'm going to see how I can help out with that, because I know a couple of people who write books also, who, or who have written books, and maybe mm-hmm. I can just connect connect you guys, and, and you can put the dots together it ain't hard you know what I'm saying? like i said everything written you know what i'm saying uh final final copies all that like i, said, I got five books uh you know two urban books self-help book a poetry book and a um, autobiography mm. you know like i said and i wrote them all in one year by being in the hole could you imagine because i have things that keep me busy like this keeps me busy Every once in a while, I write music. I fuck with instruments. Like, I always have shit that keeps me busy. It must it must suck for somebody to be in that position for a year who doesn't have a talent or doesn't have a way to get their mind off of it. They go crazy. Yeah, I don't watch that happen so many times. They go crazy. Hmm. I told her I loved her. She said she wanna see the city bus. She don't wanna ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out it's the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor, girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to, baby? That's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about, baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, grown nigga, baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah, 
And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to? Yeah, most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we about to go. We about the to road go. is gonna get windy, promise not to lose control. control. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too When it's true, you can make it if you try There's levels to everything, better believe it Cause you can deny it and never achieve it It won't come easy, just put in the work and know your worth Continue to rise, cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah, and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job I've always said that, and and tell me if, if you feel me because you you done prison time. I've always felt that if they were going to give me life in prison or the death penalty, I'll take the death penalty. Am I tripping or? Man, you tripping? Okay, no. <laughs> see, I don't know. That's why I go ahead talk to me. I mean, I only I only I, I say that because you know what I'm saying. Like I said. My prison experience was, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it was actually like, I, I mean, I can't even explain it. it, it it's unexplainable. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, was, it, was a, it, was, it wasn't as bad as you would think, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's up to you and your mindset. Yeah. But uh, I, I wouldn't take the death to, like, if I didn't know no better, mm-hmm. and that's the option they gave you, I probably would have said That's yeah. me. See, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, but being in there and, and knowing that, like, hey, being prison rich is shit. Mm. And, they, and it ain't hard, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I know, I know niggas that ain't getting no money out there in the world, but in prison, they just, they, they that nigga. Mm. You know, but, uh, yeah, being prison rich and, you know what I'm saying, just being a cool nigga, period, like, you still, like I said, you still, still had shit to pop up and go on, but, nah, I wouldn't take the death penalty. I'd say, like, okay, okay. Because I always still have an option to escape this opportunity game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I like that. I like that. <laughs> if you know, that door's you, open one day. You, you, and... take, <laughs> you, you take the death penalty, you know what I'm saying? As of right now, we don't know exactly where we're going. Yeah, it's a done but, deal. Uh, yeah. But you got life. You know where you at. And you know the possibility where you might go if you get the opportunity. Yeah, shit. Joe Biden might pardon you or some shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, you never know what can happen. Man. Yeah, a yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Out, a and, new law might come out. Yeah, the, the judge, the, the judge that got you fried might have been a dirty judge, and they found out. And they got to review all the cases. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think it, it, stuff can't happen. Mm. You know, when you put it that way, I, I think I'm gonna change my answer. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to <laughs> think five different ways. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Okay, you got me. You got me. Um, but um, when when locked up. In your personal opinion, do you think, because I've heard both answers also, so I would love your opinion. Um, when locked up, is it better to have a female on the outside or not to have one, you know, because you're worrying about is she fucking somebody? Like, you know, what is your what are your opinions on having somebody on the outside? Well, shit, it's better to have somebody outside. Okay. Because on the inside, you ain't got nobody but you. You know what I'm saying? That you can really, really trust. So it's better to have somebody on the outside. But uh, it like I said, it's still it, it is it is a double edged sword and it's bittersweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, that just depends on your mind and uh, you know how much time you got, what kind of conversations you had, and uh, you know how real you are with each other. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it, it's definitely better to have somebody on the outside. Okay, because I know so many don't have nobody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that ain't where it's at at all. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming when you're in. In like the hole, there's no visitors. Ain't nobody visiting you, type shit. Yeah, you can, but 
it's behind the glass. You went on like you in shackles and handcuffs, and you got the uh, chain around your waist, holding your hands down to your waist. You can go straight to the hole off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Ain't even got an infraction. Ain't even did nothing wrong. Um, uh, I caused hell in um, you know what I'm saying? One jail so much that that's just what it was. Or say if you leave, you know what I'm saying, and you left from the hole, and you still got whole time when you get back, you go straight to the hole. Yeah, and I remember you saying on in our last interview that when you got locked up, they put you in a uh, blood blood uh, pot or cell, exactly. or whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. Just yeah, just like the last interview. <laughs> uh, I, went, I remember I went to one prison, and it, and that's been numerous times, but that was like one of the last ones I've been in, one of the realest prisons in North Carolina. They had, they had to shut it down, but uh. Yeah, put me in all, you know what I'm saying, all blood block. Hmm. And you said as long as you're a real one, you're, you're good, right, pretty much? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, I did 10 years, so I was known anyway, so I known a lot of guys anyway. And that, was, like, that was the end of my bid. So, like, like being in North Carolina prison, it's got, it's got a hell of prison. But it's like being in a small town. You're gonna know. You're gonna know pretty much everybody. You're gonna mm. know somebody to know somebody to know somebody. Okay. And somebody gonna know your reputation. So, as long as your name, you know, name ain't got a whole weight. But as long as your face straight, you're good in the hood. Oh, a colony is coming, but it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, not doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a wet straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do when you win it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, under my she stories get told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight, baby, ignore the rain. And everything gon' be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline, and I'll be biding my time. Till I can ride the wave. Then everything gon' be okay, yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day, we'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen and it'll be Just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Be kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Hilling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay
Hey. Let me slide on in like I hit a home run. Bottle of the night, I get the job done. Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna. Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya. Reminisce on your memory. Every time I blaze a tree, forces in my head keep on urging me. Tell them about the story, hate the game from the hood. All about the paper, many years misunderstood. Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage. Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay. Wordplay, wordplay. Fucking up your frequency. Fuck up your Catching okay. moving and grooving to a kind of kind of state. Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe, taking you on a ride and listening to better night as long as you recognize the eyes in the sky. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain, and everything gonna be okay. And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline and I'll be biding my time. Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. How are white Crips and Mexican Crips treated in prison like what's what what's their situation like from your outside looking in i mean uh they they gotta they gotta they gotta stand for do they get a probably they probably get a little probably for for every one of your fights there's probably three or four of them for them right i mean they definitely gotta prove like prove they face you know i'm saying they definitely gotta show what they about um you know, I've seen plenty of situations where motherfuckers say they did that and, and, and whatever, but uh, they um, you know, like I said, when the time comes, they don't do what they say they were gonna do or what they're supposed to do. Um, but uh, they I ain't gonna front. It's just like, you know, just say if you was any outside race in another predominantly place, you are gonna get, you know, not necessarily say, but more bullied or more picked on or, or, or more attention towards you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they definitely get into a little bit more sometimes. Um, so, you know, but, um, shit, you know, it's like a pretty boy. You don't have to prove you got to fight. Because everybody can be like, nah, he's just a pretty boy. Ah, okay. That makes a lot of sense, too. And you called yourself the pretty loke or something like that, so you probably had to squabble <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Shit, that's why I had to, like that. I had to, I had to prove. Like, who is this dude fucking all the COs over here? Nah, come on. <laughs> hey, that shit gets real. That shit gets real. <laughs> did you uh, did you get most of your tats no. in prison? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah but no, nah, I'm about to say that shit get real because hey, a lot of times if it ain't over no money or no or no disrespect, it be over jealousy or some shit like that. That's exactly what the motherfucker done said. Shit uh-huh. like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, now nah, I got uh, yeah, I got actually all my tats. Not all of them, but uh, ninety eight percent of them done. In a matter of like forty five days in two thousand fourteen. Damn, dog. Okay. Yeah. I got a few more. Like I got a few more after that, but like I got a whole body suit. And I got pretty much my whole body suit done in forty five days. Okay. How does one go about getting a tattoo in prison, and you know, keeping it away from the guards, or do they just turn a blind eye to it? I mean, it just depends. Uh, it's some prisons I've been to. You know, you got a you got a hawk hawk man. He watching the dough. He make his sound or his whistle or uh, whatever catchphrase. Um, and, and after they get done doing their round, we go back to it. Oh, uh, you know, I've been in the camp. Well, the camp I was at where I got uh, my body suit done at, they watch me get tatted. They come up to me and say, oh, man, you crazy. You getting another one? Man, you getting another one? You getting another one? Well, because shit, it, think about it. You got you said you got all those in 45 days. They, they probably remember what you looked like before then. And they're like, wait. Yeah. And Two months later, it's was, was, yeah, go ahead. The crazy, the crazy shit was, uh, cause when I got locked up, I only had like two tats on my face and my eyelids done. So I had all these tats on my face, but my ID still had my regular picture. So they would look at it and be like, "Man, what the fuck?" <laughs> well, shit. Let me, uh, let me ask you one last question, then I want to talk a little bit about your what you have coming up next. But um, I see you crip walking a lot. <laughs> that motherfucking, yeah, you got that vibe going, dog. Um, I don't even. I, I've never actually asked anybody this question on my show, but do you do you know the origins of the Crip Walk by any chance? Uh, absolutely. Oh shit! You break it down, dog, please. <laughs> you know, I, I break it down like a little bit of dope, real quick. You know, keep it simple. 
Oh, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, Sugar Bear, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause, uh, cause and then the dance, you know what I'm saying? And then the crit walk. And, uh, you know, before, uh, a lot of times, uh, people had beef or had something going on, uh, or this, uh, or about to ride out, you know, they would get high, get drunk, you know what I'm saying? And, and party. Might be their last party. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Sugar Bear, Christopher Ellis, Ellis, he invented it. Um, and, uh, you know, um, it's, it's, it's culture for us, you feel me? Um, so yeah, we, uh, I celebrate it. I do it all the time. I can't dance. That's all I know how to do, actually. Yeah. Uh, Could have fooled yeah. me, dog. Yeah, I can't dance at all. I just know how to crit walk. <laughs> Might be my next song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, in a nutshell, that's what I've been, that's where it came from. So. Okay. Well, shit. I know you have a lot lot going on, but what's next for Crip Curry? Man, a whole lot. Uh just did a interview with Rap City Atlanta. Uh nice. it's on T V. Download download the Rap City uh, Atlanta app on VH2 Network. Um first thing to pop up is gonna be me doing my thing. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That fool Crip Curry, D A T F O O L T R I P. C U double R Y. That fool Crip Curry. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um Oh, got got new music on the way. Uh got actually got some more videos coming up. Just working, man, every day. Yeah. If there's one song on YouTube that everybody should check out, what's what's that one song that you're most proud of that you're that that's your go to? Uh probably had to be uh Gangsters Don't Cry. It's the first song I recorded when I got out of prison in 2019. It's dedicated to both my brothers that succeeded to pass away in a car accident. Yeah. So, you know, that's where I'm my heart at. But it's more dope stuff on there. Freedom of Speech is it's the shit. Uh, Mad Mad, that's, that's my single that's out right now. Um, it's definitely jumping. That's when I'm performing mostly in the club. Capital C. Uh, man, it's it's uh, that's just a few. Like I said, I got new music on the way. I actually, uh, uh, my next video I'm dropping it was supposed to be Mad Man, but I, uh, I recorded this new joint. It's actually about the night that I got uh, shot and how it happened. And like I said, it's on live, so some of the videos going to be mixed in with me reenacting it and the actual live footage. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. And we would never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, I possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator. Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean. I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean. But working every day from nine to five in my thing. I feel like a dream. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. I feel like I'm trapped. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. One by one, we start to subtract them. Separate facade from who really bought that action. Feel like I'm trapped in the room without a key. Full wall surrounding me, stripping my identity. Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive. Take away my culture and my nationality. Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. double standard to killing my folks. Like it don't even matter. And when we gather, disgusted by the charades. Bullets spray the crowd, target practice in the game. No accountability, so who bears the blame? They want to see us violent and justify the change. Back to how it used to be. Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel this heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For I awareness I feel like a trap Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble Trouble. Oh. 
Stop, let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all of my veins That shit is all of my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard Hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck, I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, I done that I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble Trouble, trouble, trouble